Yet again, the biggest biodiversity summit in over a decade has been pushed back as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic. COP15 in Kunming will now take place in October 2021, a full year after the original date. Leaders were due to convene in May with the aim of reaching an agreement over targets to protect the natural world. Some of these targets included conserving 30% of the world's oceans and land by 2030, introducing controls on invasive species and reducing plastic pollution. It all sounds good in theory, but just how realistic are these goals? Are they attainable? Last year, the world was stunned when the United Nations reported that world leaders had failed to meet a single biodiversity target agreed in Aichi in 2010. Determined to prove that Kunming would yield better results, the UN Convention on Biodiversity published a 20-point draft outlining the details of the agreement in January. But many say it still doesn't go far enough. Scientists say humans are causing the sixth mass extinction event in the history of planet Earth. And at the 2020 World Economic Forum, business leaders said biodiversity loss was the third biggest risk to the world in terms of likelihood and severity, behind only climate action failure and weapons of mass destruction. The forum delegates put their biodiversity concerns ahead of infectious diseases, terror attacks and interstate conflict. So it's not just Greta Thunberg who's worried. The 2030 goals are part of the UN's long-term plan to ensure that humanity is living in harmony with nature by 2050. For now, though, it's just a plan. The next few years will prove what these words are really worth.